we use the distance to change the volume of the sound. And now we're going to use this distance to make some changes to object. So we're going to create your one cube and then we're going to check the distance from the player, let's say player, to cube. And this player can be anything. It can be the camera itself or it can be the AR camera, which is going to be yours yourself, right? So we're going to create cube first. And let's reset the position and I will create the C sharp script. I will say this one as a tile behavior. First, we need to declare the player and then we need to assign the player with some function. So let's declare the player first. You can use the public transform and then you can attach to any player over here. But now we're going to use another function which is going to use a tag and to find the player. So here, uh, we use the find game object with the tag and the tag is going to be player. Once we attach the, this tag to the object, it's going to be the player itself. Uh, be careful, there is another function which is called find object to with s with the tag. But now we're going to use only one player, so it's going to be only find object with tag. And to check the distance from this player to the object, we're going to use vector distance. So now it's going to check the distance from this front, from this object transform to player's position. And now according to this distance, we can do something. And now if distance is less than 10 meter or let's say just 10, uh, we can say do something. To use this number a bit more easily, I'm going to bring it to public float. And let's change this boundary to this number. And what we want to do is first, we want to change our color. So I'm going to create some float for color. And then we need to find render to change the color. To assign the color, what we can do is we're going to assign the color itself and then we're going to use the number to change the color. So here we use the color exactly same as same way as when we use the vector 3, right? Color my color is new color with color bright, comma, color bright, the comma, color bright, and comma 1. This one is like L and G and B. So first one is going to be L, red, and second one is going to be the G, which is green, and third one is going to be blue. And last one is represent as alpha value. We're going to use these values to change the color of the cube currently. But be careful, in the Unity, we're not using the 255, 256 colors. The, in the color, in the Unity, at the basically uh, 0 to 1 is the uh, color. So 0 means black and 1 means white. So to change this color bright value, we can say that if it is smaller than boundary, if I mean if the distance is smaller than boundary, we can increase or decrease the number of the bright. And now if the distance is smaller than boundary, the color is going to be darker and darker and darker. If it is enough far from the uh, object, now we can say that it's going to go bright again. So else. And now we need to attach this color to the object. But we didn't assign this ground renderer to our object itself. I mean, we declare the ground renderer, but we didn't say what is ground renderer itself. So go to the start again. Now it's going to get the component renderer. And now we are ready to use this ground renderer. Inside of the ground renderer and then material and it's inside of the material, there is a color and this color is going to be my color. 
and save it. Uh, we still need one more things, which is we need to have the, some maximum number and minimum number for this. Because like I said, the number itself inside of the unity, one is the maximum number. But for now, if it is stay inside of the boundary forever, like it goes down and down and down forever. So we need to have some kind of limitation. For that, we can say if the color bright value is larger than one, we can say it's going to stay as a one. And then if it goes into smaller than zero, it can stay as a zero. This time, I didn't use the curly bracket because after if condition, if there is only one sentence of the line, you can skip to use curly bracket. But of course, if you're going to have your more than two lines, you definitely need curly brackets. But now the main camera is tag with your main camera. But let's change the camera as a player. Well, there is already a player over there. We, and now we need to attach script to the cube. And I will change this cube as a tile. And let's change the shape of the cube. And I'm going to reduce the height to 0 0.2. Now it smokes, uh, looks like tile. And inside of the tile, for now the boundary is zero. I think it's too close. So let's say five, play it. Now if we move the camera near to the tile, you can see that color of the tile is going to change black. And if we make it far, now it's changed to white. This is going to be same as any other object or any other camera. All you need to do is just take the object to the player.